the video has started. <laughs> Hi guys and welcome back to my channel from a very messy Miriam, tired Paul Deepak. But happy parents. Um, yeah, uh, I know in my previous video I told y'all uh, we will be revealing uh, to you the gender of the baby. Uh, and... Uh, um, let you all know who has entered our life. But then we had yeah. a very sad uh, incident of uh, her pet pet dog, Shakur, who was uh, 16 years with them, who passed away. And and so that was a, um, something that really pulled the family down. And which is why we had to take some time to recover from that. And um, so we are here now. Yeah. And also, like, I've been on painkillers. Like, <clears throat> for someone with... Someone who has had an endo and uh, has high pain tolerance, this has really pulled me down and I am very dependent on painkillers. So, sometimes it really brings me down and I don't feel like doing anything. So, um, yeah. Um, we gave birth to a... a um, <laughs> <laughs> we gave birth to a very um, beautiful, um, healthy, healthy uh, baby girl. And we <laughs> and we bamboozled all those who kept saying it's a boy. Yeah, everyone kept saying it's a boy, but then uh, it is a girl. And we've prayed. I, I've prayed for years. Yeah, yeah. Years. Like from the time I think I was diagnosed with endo uh, and I used to pray for a, a natural pregnancy. I always prayed for a girl. Um, not that you know if I would have had a boy I would have been disappointed or anything but uh, no no we want a boy also but that's next yeah I wanted my first experience of um, motherhood and Deepak wanted his first experience uh, to be with a girl and uh, that is what um, we got yeah I can't tell you all how happy I am uh that actually we wanted to show you all the video of when she came out and when we uh, when i met her and she was still going through her surgery and my reaction and all of that but then we're just so tired we're not able to edit videos and put things together so we thought we'd make this raw footage of us just talking to y'all and um... <laughs> and i remember joking in the operation theater saying uh, you know a doctor heads up like if it's a boy just put him back in and stitch him up and um, I remember when she pulled the baby out and said that Miriam you know you get to take her home I was just so overwhelmed and so happy <clears throat> and my only thought was how would you react outside <clears throat> but uh, yeah I definitely love to share my whole experience of how the c-section was and how um being in the operation theater for so long uh, is in case someone would want that kind of motivation um, but yeah and uh, as much as we'd love to show you all um, the baby because you know like you guys do deserve to see the baby and uh, because you have been praying and all of that I've been uh, recently reading a lot of articles on how uh, people can use, um, you know, like photos and videos of babies and do some creepy stuff and all of that. So I really want to not, uh, you know, put her digital footprint out there. Um, yet. Yet, yet. It's not like we are never going to do it. But, but as of now, we don't want to do that. Um, also because in the recent past, we've come across uh, some crazy people who seem to be know who seem to know about us they don't know us they know about us and they've been uh, making comments and saying things out there on social media which are not true but then they're leaving a footprint of what they seem to know about us yeah and and that i think the minute i heard them talk about the baby and all of that i knew you know it, it seemed very creepy so we just wanted to take our time and before the sneeze distracted me, I was telling them that we'll put in a video of that day, you know, the reactions of people when she was born and 
um what we did how yeah. we reacted both the families yeah. like everybody was really really happy <clears throat> as soon as uh, you know the doctor came out and said it's a girl like um both our families are families where they celebrate girls um and uh, for my brothers it was like after 31 years another girl has entered the family so yeah and and my family was say was saying you know how people connect things they said my mother's birthday is on the 30th of march which is 3003 and our baby's birthday was 0303 2023 so she has three threes in it and they were saying oh your mother's back and all of that so both the families were very very stoked about the whole thing yeah and uh, we also have named her because we've had uh, i've had uh, Deepak has had one name for like over 10 years <laughs> which I kind of just <laughs> eliminated because uh, so when I thought of the name it was pretty modern it was it new, was pretty unique. yeah unique yeah. and uh, I remember telling my friends is the name I want to name my daughter that maybe 12 years or 13 14, 14 years back and they said oh it's very nice and all of that so it's a very common name now so I thought yeah. of naming uh my daughter back then kiara and if kiara paul and if it was a a, a twin or, or if i had another girl i wanted to name her kaira paul so it would be kiara and kaira that was my plan <clears throat> but she came and threw it out the window okay but tell me honestly hmm. like <clears throat> everyone who's heard her name what have they told you yeah yeah it's a unique nice name don't like giving me credit you know? <laughs> no, no, it's a very nice name. it's a very nice name so you you mentioned the gender so i want to mention the name okay fine okay yeah sorry about that our daughter ordered us to be present in front of her so ah where were we her name name yes so her name is should we reveal the name yeah like what will they call her baby I mean, they deserve to know. Okay, <clears throat> we we will have a, a dedication ceremony and uh, have her christened in, in church, but then we didn't want people to call her random names, and we were okay with her having the name. All so here it goes. Her name is Azika Brielle Paul. Azika Brielle. Paul, um, which mean? means uh, Azika means a wall of strength. It's a biblical meaning, which means a wall of strength, and Brielle means a woman of God, and Paul means little Kuti, which is also my name, and I'm not Kuti. Yeah, I I wanted uh, the <clears throat> word strength to be in her name because. Um, you know like i was told that i won't get pregnant i got pregnant naturally and uh, we were expecting to have a lot of complications because of the cyst but that didn't happen at the end of uh, my pregnancy i was told that the baby won't be able to engage or turn because of the cyst but she managed to do it and uh, i always thought of like in my head i always thought my baby was really strong um and god was really protecting the baby mm. because um you know like she fought through all the odds and i didn't give her a very friendly environment to begin with mm. but uh, she did fight and she came out healthy and that's why i wanted the word strength to be in her name mm. and brielle because i hope that she is brielle because um that's how we want to raise her yeah. and we want her to be a woman after god's own heart and uh, we hope that she will be a testimony and an example to people at her generation so there you have it uh, please welcome azika brielle paul yeah and i hope you guys understand um the fact that um why we are trying not to put her on youtube because we chose this life like i chose this life i don't want to put that on her but it's not like i'm never going to do it but as of now um we've made that decision as parents not to do it yeah just uh, just a, a short while yeah and soon we will um introduce her to you all face to face 
um so that's it we just wanted to say that i'm still recovering i still have good days and bad days but um slowly but surely i am recovering and uh, i hope to get back on my feet and become my old self pretty soon um also i've just the pregnancy weight has just dropped i don't know how like i completely lost my pregnancy weight mm -hmm. and uh, yeah i've completely lost my pregnancy weight and i've actually lost a lot of weight so i'm trying to regain that as well but yeah as of now that's it yeah and i'm on diaper duty constantly it's like the minute the child comes to me she thinks it's a potty or something <laughs> and uh, <clears throat> she poops but uh, yeah i give miriam as much as break as possible her duty is only feeding the child and eating whatever was given to her her brothers have been a lot of help we stayed at our place for the initial couple of days after discharge but it was getting to us we were really struggling my body was also giving up we hardly slept so her brothers uh, insisted that we come and stay with them and yeah. they made a lot of and a uh, lot of like adjustments and all of this is actually by room yeah if you guys couldn't tell they've changed the cot and all of that but uh, if you guys are still wondering how azika looks she looks just like deepak like a mini version <laughs> mini female version of deepak like totally yeah so maybe we can put up a baby picture of me and how i looked and so you can imagine how she would be yeah maybe we yeah. can do that uh so that's it guys i um, will meet you guys in my next video but until then bye